Also keeping a close eye on Highway 217 at Allen again today. You know, yesterday, 24 hours ago, Fano Creek flooded and it shut Highway 217 down. Time to check in with Tim Becker. He's monitoring the situation tonight. How's it looking, Tim? Well, good news for right now, Jeff. Traffic is getting through no trouble at all. I'm going to give you a look at it. It's actually uh, flying up and down the freeway. If you take a good look at that and see that. Uh, but this area, you got to remember, like you were saying, was completely vehicle free this same time yesterday. ODOT uh, being forced to close at around four o'clock because of flooding. As you can imagine, that turned the afternoon commute into a nightmare there. Uh, water over the roadway was caused by several different creeks just overflowing from all the rainfall. Beaverton Creek, Fano Creek, you know, there's also a pond just to the south of the Allen Boulevard overpass here. That was full as well. ODOT was able to eventually open the southbound lanes around 730 and then the whole rest of the highway around midnight, I'm told. I just spoke with someone at ODOT and they tell me they are going to be watching this area very closely again tonight, though. The rain is light right now, but with a couple of more inches possibly overnight, they tell me this could become a problem area once again in a hurry. Creeks like the one you're looking at right now will rise. It's not a matter of if, but when and how high. We're going to stay here all afternoon and evening. Keep an eye on the commute back there, which is going well now, but we're going to keep an eye on that commute. Check back with regular updates. Um, and yeah, it looks like the traffic situation is smooth sailing for now. Back to you. Quite a difference a day makes, but like Tim said, this is a spot yeah. we will certainly continue to watch. Thank you. Okay.